Look, the only thing I can control in my life are the things that I'm willing to take responsibility for. These gladiators that came here thousands of years ago and maybe lost their lives, if they took responsibility for the match, full responsibility, and I might be taking this too far right now, I don't know. I don't know what it was like to be a gladiator in 720, 740 AD, okay? I can't even imagine fighting in front of 50,000 people with lions possibly coming out to eat me, okay? But I know this, you really gotta get this point carried away. You gotta get it like in your head. You're an executive, you're a business owner, you're a manager. You're trying to hire people. You're trying to hire people and you're like, oh, the people are bad, oh, everybody's terrible, everybody's bad. I can't find good people. to take responsibility. We all have something to do with what's going on around us. You and I authorize others to drop the bomb. Look, I've been robbed twice in my life. 23 years old, I was almost killed. Guy came in my house, put a 45 caliber pistol in my face, hit me right here, then put 70 stitches in my head and face, robbed me. In New Orleans, Louisiana, I was robbed uh, at, at a younger age. I caused both of those. I was the victim in both situations. On the police report, victim robbed by criminals. Truth is, I wasn't a victim. I created both of those. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong people. I had something to do with that. Everything that happens to you is because of you. Quit passing it off, right? It's, it's gonna rain on me right now while I'm shooting this. Dude, that's my fault. I could have shot this thing yesterday when it was sunshine. Watch and read high performance people and you will see that they always take responsibility. When their life goes to, to garbage, it's when they quit taking responsibility. The greats in the world keep track of everything. When they're in the game, it, when they're the gladiator, when they're the ball player, when they're the executive of a big company, they're statitizing everything, okay? How many outbound? How many inbound? Uh, what's our closing ratio? What's our right ratio? Everything is measured. Measure your actions and measure your results. Those that don't and won't are irresponsible and they will cause you problems. I remember as a young salesperson, I was keeping a log, not on what I sold, but on what I said to people. I kept everything. How many people I talked to, how many people I waited on, how many people I wrote up, how many people I negotiated with, how many people I closed, how many people I talked to on the phone, and also what they said and what I said. What worked and what didn't work, I was taking responsibility. This is the only way you can take responsibility, by the way. You can't just say, oh, I'm, a, I'm responsible. You gotta do something to follow up the responsibility. It's how I handle and learned and became a professional salesperson. I handle the future by handling, by being responsible for the present. You go in that gladiator, you go in there as a gladiator in that coliseum, okay, and you don't figure out how you lost that last fight, you're going to die in the next one. Take responsibility. Even if the other guy cheated, he surprised you, he shocked you, he pulled out some other weapon you didn't know about. Be prepared for the future by taking responsibility for the present. So be responsible, be the cause, not the effect. Be responsible. Even when you're not responsible, be responsible. Bad things happen to good people. Good things, by the way, happen to good people. And blame no one, be responsible. And remember this, you wanna be great, you wanna be super successful, take responsibility for everything, even the things that you could have no responsibility for.